Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to Broders slash Roaders Magazine, or whatever you want to call it. This is going to be a slightly long video, but not really. Um, for the short and skinny, for the too long didn't read people, Broders slash Roaders Magazine is no longer a YouTube channel. I'm going to keep all the videos up, but I'm not going to be producing any more rotary content. I know that I've said I'm going to, and I'm sorry that I have to break that promise. I'm going to explain why in the rest of this video, but if you don't want to hear it, cool. Thank you guys for subscribing. I appreciate all your support. But I just want to jump into this and kind of explain my perspective as far as where the channel is going and uh, go from there. So this starts with a weird story and I'm going to link it back here in a minute um, for the most part. So it's going to go a little ways away and it's going to come back. So just bear with it, like I said. Um, so I used to play college baseball for four years. Um, I played baseball from the time I was nine to the time I was 22. I played all the way through college and my first two years I played for a very, very good team. How good is that team, you might be asking. Um, one of our starting pitchers now starts for the San Diego Padres, and then the our shortstop is currently the third baseman for the Chicago Cubs. Um, we were really, really, really good. And my sophomore year um, was the first year that I ever picked up a camera and made any video of any capacity that was actually like real camera, because I shot like Halo Machinima a long time ago, and I didn't really realize I had a passion in filmmaking or anything like that. Um, but. Um, I picked up the iPhone 4S, which had 1080p video, and I was like, this is really cool. So I made like a little short for my college for a little video contest explaining why I thought my college was the best. It was Neosho County Community College. And uh, I entered the contest with this iPhone, and my coach saw the video and goes, you should make a video like that for the baseball team. Um, so I made a video called Together We Will, which is on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna put all the links to these videos in the description so you guys can kind of see the growth. Um, but I made this video called Together We Will, and it's like this really, uh, nowadays it's kind of like over the top, whatever, but back in like 2010 it was cool. I'm um, just over the top, like cool, like inspirational video, just kind of showing us working hard to accomplish our goal, which was to go to the Junior College World Series. Um, and it's uh, the very first video I ever made. I made it with an iPhone, and uh, shortly after that I bought my very first DSLR, Canon T2i and I was a relief pitcher for the team. So I was the, we had, if you guys don't know baseball, you have a starting pitcher, a relief pitcher, and then a closer. So the relief pitcher would come in when the starting pitcher has trouble, usually in the later part of the game, um, before you bring in your closer to actually finish out the game. So I was a relief pitcher, so I had a lot of time sitting around in the bullpen, on the bench, waiting around for games, uh, waiting until I was actually called in to go to the bullpen. I was, towards the end of the season, the first first or second out of the bullpen. Um, I basically had to come and improve myself midway through the season, but, um, Towards the beginning of the season, I had a lot of, lot of time to burn and stuff like that. Plus, our starters were obnoxiously good. Um, but So I, I, I got my first DSLR, and as, as we were playing through my sophomore year, I was documenting all of our events that were going on, you know, just kind of shooting stuff here and there, learning the cameras, and kind of going from there. So I made like little, little more inspirational films the entire time. I made like a series of like five films. Um, but the most relevant one to the story that I'm trying to tell is we shot one called The End. So I guess we're on our way to the Junior College World Series. And um, before you get there, you have to go through a series of tournaments to get to the World Series. So you have conference, conference tournament and you have Super Regional Tournament. Um, so we got through the conference tournament pretty easily. Our season was obnoxious. Got to Super Regionals. Um, basically, I shot a video called The End. And uh, to go on to the World Series, you had to win Super Regionals and uh, we get to the championship of the Super Regionals and we end up winning the Super Regionals. Now, if you know anything about sports, when you win something of that capacity, Super Regionals is basically the equivalent of winning a state tournament in high school. Um, so we won basically the state tournament for our college and uh, everyone dog piles because everyone's super excited and super hyped. And um, I'm shooting these little, these little films, these little documentary things. And uh, everyone starts running to the pitch with a dog pile them and everyone grabs them and starts jumping on them and stuff and they start jumping and stuff and I see this start moving towards the back of the field and I go well I have the shot framed up and now they're moving so I need to make sure my camera is correctly placed and then I'll run out to them and you know go dog pile myself and the pilots move so much to the point where just like I couldn't get there in time so I just sat there and shot this dog pile and what was at that point in time the happiest moment of my life was there shooting my teammates my friends my coaches, everyone going crazy because we just won Super Regional. And at that moment, I felt so fulfilled. And I wasn't, I didn't have to be in the moment to feel that way. I was in the moment, but I was showing, I was recording the moment for us to share later. And that was when I felt really fulfilled. And it's something that I didn't realize until literally probably about two weeks ago. And this happened five years ago, um, five or six years ago. Sorry, I can't remember that well. But um, so like, I just, 
there was a point where I was just like, I don't know, like I saw it and I go, I don't, I don't need to be a part of this moment. It doesn't really, I, 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 like I said, I appreciate it. It's fun. I enjoyed it. But my true calling or purpose that I felt was recording and have this moment so we can have it in our memory forever, so we can have it permanently basically written in stone. And, you know, as I've gone over time, I've had a whole bunch of video jobs. And that, the, those videos that I shot in college actually got me my first job um, shooting wedding videos my first real job shooting wedding videos professionally and then ultimately actually running that company several years later um, and doing a whole bunch of stuff. But basically I left that company, started working in another film production company. That's when I started the Rotors channel with my buddy, Matt. And uh, so that, that obviously it took off a little bit. And uh, yeah, and then I used that actually to, if you guys are paying attention to one of my videos called where I quit my job, I actually moved to Tulsa, Oklahoma to work at Home Performance. Um, and if you guys actually want to see our car stuff, you can check us out at youtube.com, so it's home performance. But I had an experience probably two or three weeks ago that was basically the same thing as when I shot what was the biggest moment of my life, which was winning the Super Regional in college. Um, we went out to the track uh, and took a customer car that had never gone on the track, he never driven the car, didn't know what to expect. And uh, we took it out, it was like a 400 horsepower Civic. And the very, very first pass, the car goes down the track and runs a 10, like 87 at 137 miles an hour. First pass, 10, 87, right out the gate. First pass, oh shit. And we're going crazy like it's just like it's literally just like four of us but we go crazy there and like i just have this little crappy camera and I'm shooting it and like we're it's it was it was such a moment of joy that i was i felt so privileged to capture that it completely flipped and changed the way that i thought that that content on youtube should be handled um and i i can go into that but i'm not going to get into that too deep but like i literally shot that content and uh we made the video and if you want to watch it, like I said, this video will be in the comments down below. It's the EK video. Um, the first two and a half minutes of that video, I personally think is the best two and a half minutes of video that I've ever shot. And I've shot a lot of video that I don't show on this channel. Like I shot for Warren Buffett. Um, I've shot for a TV show called The Harbor, which is really cool. I've shot a whole bunch of stuff, but I shot two and a half minutes with a crappy Canon G7X camera. and captured so much to where it made me it made me feel that sense of fulfillment again and you know having gone through um, pro professional filmmaking and, and video production for the past three years way after the fact when I first started I realized the actual emotional impact that that I had um, making that that little short a long time ago and I want to make more content like that I want to make something with a purpose I want to make something that that allows people to look back on their life and remember some of the biggest key moments in their life. Luckily, now I have the opportunity to do that with cars, working at Humble Performance full time. Um, but with this channel, I want to do something a little bit different. I'm not sure how I'm going to accomplish it yet, but I do want to make videos with a purpose, whether that is a vlog or anything like that. Um, I'll figure that out. But one thing I think you'll notice in my vlog style is that I, I now pretty much don't to try I try to be off camera as much as possible I only carry the camera and I'll narrate what's going on but I do not like being on camera I don't want to make these moments about myself I try not to and I think that's what I find the most joy in is you know even shooting that baseball moment was it wasn't about me it was about us as a collective whole as a team I took I was just documenting our journey um, looking at this this car this track it wasn't about me it was a customer car i was documenting our experience our journey with this car i just want to document the journey i think a lot of youtubers are not going to point out any names and become self-obsessed and narcissistic to the point with their own content that uh and this is going to sound weird maybe it won't resonate with someone but it resonates with me in a certain way um, people i just try to show my life on youtube whereas other people try to make their life with youtube um, I just want to use YouTube as a log of my life and my journey so I can document my own personal experiences and journeys. I don't want to be the center of attention. I don't want to be just the person on camera all the time. I don't want to be like, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my shop. That's not going to be me. I've tried it. I think that I'm too awkward. Every time I watch myself on camera, I cringe so hard. I think ultimately what you're going to see from this channel is that any video that's going to be posted here is going to be posted with a purpose, with an intended message in mind. Um, I don't want to make frivolous, vapid content. I don't want to make generic 
content like you see in a lot of people's channels and stuff like that. I don't mean to bash anybody, but um, I want it to be purpose, purposeful. I want to inspire people to be better than they, than they are. I want to help people accomplish their goals or follow their dreams. I think there's a lot of ways to accomplish that. Cars, to me, are an intimate experience. Um, I think that they are one of the purest forms of self-expression that we possibly have. Um, we all have our stories with cars, you know, a lot of people, I'll get messages, hey, they help me battle through depression, they help me build friends and camaraderie and all that stuff, and you know, that's, that's a really common thread we all share. Me personally, as far as cars, cars helped me get through my parents dying when I was younger. Um, it helped me deal with, you know, a, a, a pretty hard breakup when I was in basically going through the same, the parents thing. Um, They've, they've given me so many opportunities. Like, I wouldn't be here without cars. Um, I wouldn't be in Oklahoma shooting stuff humble performance without cars. I wouldn't have made some of my best friends without cars, like everybody here. Um, and I just want to create a channel that helps celebrate that. Kevin's car got on the track in a 10 second and you know I got to be in the moment with him and, and share it with everybody that's where I felt fulfilled and hopefully that's where I can continue to grow and hopefully you guys will continue to grow with me and watch and share your own moments I would love to see them as you guys go don't just show your shop whatever show me do show me you doing something going out there and you know trying to accomplish your dreams and accomplish your goals I'd love to see it um, but yeah so I mean that's kind of what I got for you guys hopefully you guys enjoy what I have coming forward um, I, I don't know when it's going to be, to be entirely honest. It could be like next week, it could be like several months from now, but just be aware that I am making content. It's me made a home performance. When I make something that I feel is maybe personally intimate to me or something I want to share with you guys, my audience, or um, that's, that's what it comes down to. Um, yeah, so uh, that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy what I have coming forward. And like I said, I want to say thank you guys for supporting me for the past going on a uh, year and a half, two years. We're 45,000 deep. Um, I really don't care if this channel grows much more. If it does, that's cool. If it doesn't, that's cool. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be my channel that I'll be able to look back in, in 20 years. And um, like I said in the last video, I don't wanna look back 20 years from now and say what ifs. So this can be my, my log of me saying this is what happened. And I didn't ask what if, I didn't look back. Um, I didn't ask, uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't fear failure. Um, I embraced it and I moved forward. So. If you guys are at that point, like I said earlier in the last video, if you're at that point where you're at, where you're at the cliff, um, I'm fine. I jumped. My my sail hasn't opened yet, but uh, it's getting there, and I'm not I'm not really afraid of it. So uh, yeah, I want to say thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one.